I'm Lewis Just Lewis and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you about Corylophus ciliatus, which is also commonly known as the crested gecko. I think I said that right, I'm not too sure. I'm going to be telling you a few facts about the crested gecko, just in case you're interested in buying one, or just in case you're interested in just learning about crested geckos in general. So I hope you enjoy. So I have two crested geckos and you're probably thinking, where are they? Here's one of them. This is Drogon, he's a baby, he's 11 weeks old and he's super cute and friendly. I keep saying he or she but I don't know his sex yet because he's too young to know about. And my other crested gecko's name is Viserion and this is him. So you're probably thinking, why is it called a crested gecko? So the reason they're called crested geckos is because they have a crest above their head, down their back and near their eyes. So the crest they have on top of the head is more for decoration rather than survival. As far as I know, they don't need it for anything other than decoration. They're from New Caledonia. They were thought to be extinct until a couple of years ago, back in 1994. Another thing with crested geckos is that they need to be misted about two to three times a day, once in the morning, once at night, to keep the humidity above 60. These guys drink from the walls as well, so they need be listed so that they can drink because they prefer to be in trees. The degrees of the tank has to be at least room temperature. So crested geckos are nocturnal and if you don't know what nocturnal means is that they come out during the night and sleep during the day. Probably why they're not as lively at the moment. When it gets darker they liven up more, they jump more and they move a lot faster than this. They're just sitting here at the moment relaxing. Crested geckos have excellent night vision, they can see very well at night. If you see them during the day, the eyeballs are normally completely white or mostly white and you see them during the night, their eyeballs go nearly completely black, like black beads. Now crested geckos have no opposable eyelids. What they do have on their eye is this scale called the brill, which covers the eye and you're probably thinking it's probably weird how they can't you know, blink. They have a very long tongue that helps lick their eyes to keep them moist. I'll insert a clip. Crested geckos are omnivores, so they eat a bunch of different things. They normally eat mouldy fruits that they can find in the wild, but in captivity they eat this stuff called rapashi or pangea, which is a fruit mix that they can have, or they can eat small locusts or big locusts depending on the size of them. A crested gecko's tail is prehensile, so what that means is it's kind of like a fifth limb where if they were to fall from a tree, they'd be able to use their tail to grip onto the tree, but not as well as a monkey, so they can half use it. Another fact about their tail is that if they were to get grabbed in the wild by a bird, they would be in trouble. So if it was to swoop down and grab it by the tail, what they can actually do is they shed their tail so they can drop it and get away, but they can only use that defense mechanism once. Bit of a pointless defense mechanism if it can only work once. It's kind of like they get a second life. Obviously it's best if they do have their tail because it helps with balance, but they can live without it. It takes a couple of weeks for them to get used to not having one. A crested gecko dropping its tail is referably known as autotomy. I think that's how you say it. It's when they can willingly drop their tails to get away from prey. Crested geckos can literally nearly climb anything. They have these little hairs that are on their feet called setae. The hairs on their feet are microscopic and allow them to stick to smooth surfaces really easily. But you may think, oh, how are they supposed to get away fast from prey if they're stuck? To these objects so they have this fat on their hair that helps them to de-stick as fast as they can so they can move really fast going in which way they want to go so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and that it become useful for you if you were to buy a crested gecko they're amazing creatures and i love them to death i love reptiles and i love fish anyway guys that's it for today's video i hope you like please like subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you in the next one take care bye